Ah, yes. Yeah. So um, I think this is a Redux topic, but because I'm going into another round of Rise 45, I thought it was worth revisiting because I, I know um, I, I know some people have different opinions on fitness challenges, and I you know I've actually talked to people who you know I've gotten I got DMs from folks who were like, yeah, I really want to do something like that you know, I want to do the on at six challenge or the rise 45 challenge or any of these, there's so many out there, but I, I don't know, should I do it? I think, you know, I don't want to, you know, is, is it going to, is, I don't, I don't want to do, I don't want to commit to something that I don't know if it's going to actually be useful or if it's going to make a good change or if it's going to be, you know, just because there's, I guess in certain social media circles, there's kind of this air of like, oh, fitness challenges are bad and they don't create lasting changes. And you know, it's, it's just, it's just marketing. And, and I, to reiterate kind of what I said last time, I really think it, it kind of comes down to the specifics of the fitness challenge. Um, yes, if it's if, if it's like something like the FNX, like, like FNX Rise 45, or actually we're doing another one uh, later called Summer Shred um, or On at Six. Yeah, there's obviously there's going to be a little bit of a buy in, but. I think if it's run properly, you get a lot of good value. I mean, like, so for example, I mean, you know, the Onnit 6 challenge, like they do, they have, you know, they get, they get programming from Onnit, from the Onnit coaches and they get, you know, they, they have, uh, you know, obviously a Facebook group, you know, which is kind of a given these days, but you know, the coaches jump onto that and do, you know, do Facebook lives with people. So you actually, so, you know, so you actually feel like you're kind of connected to this community and it was the same with Rise 45, you know, I mean, we had... Um, you know, we had, we had a Facebook group and, uh, we had, you know, chats with, with, uh, with, with kind of the, the FNX founders and stuff like that. And they were all very engaged and, you know, that's, that's kind of cool. I mean, just, I think the, the community aspect is something that I think a lot of people talk about in fitness, but at the same time, it's one of those things that sometimes it feels a little lip servicey, like people just kind of bring it up because you're supposed to talk about community and fitness, but, but then they, it's almost like it's not a, they, they don't see it as, as big a, of as big a value prop as it actually is. You know, like for me, for example, that's one of the big reasons I wanted to do rise 45 was for the community aspect, you know, just because, um, all the time that I've been, a, an, an, you know, in, in the ambassador program, I've really enjoyed interacting with the people, um, in the group and and of course the folks at, at FNX and and I'm, and I'm trying I'm not trying to turn this into an FNX commercial it's just this is just like the perspective I have right now so so don't at me about that um but uh so what was I saying something about interacting with people uh let's see I had something for this community oh dead air um so no but um so yeah so so part of so, so like i said part of the reason i did it was to be uh, was was just because i wanted to be part of the community um and i don't know it's, it's kind of neat it's kind of actually it's kind of nice to like have a positive reason to go onto facebook you know i mean some some of you guys know i actually have blocked my my facebook feed with this great great chrome extension called uh, called facebook called newsfeed eradicator so it's kind of nice to like go to Facebook and just see like a bunch of positivity and just see a bunch of people who are like supporting each other and, you know, and, and being cool and not, not positing about sociopolitics or virology or things that they don't really know about. But uh, anyway, I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole. So, um, <clears throat> so I, I guess to, to kind of make this useful, um, so I mentioned you know, let, let's talk about, you know, if you're going to go into a fitness challenge, like things to look at. So I, I will say that I think there are some challenges that are like either very extreme or very short term, you know, if it, if, cause like, <clears throat> like, a, like a seven day challenge, I, I don't know how useful that is. Right. Or something that's like lose, you know, a whole lot of weight in a very short time. I mean, depending on, on what it is and how it's structured, that could go either way. So I would say look at something that's more based around the idea of, you know, not, not, I mean, I, mean, I think, you know, a KPI like lose X pounds. I think, like I said, that's just, that, that's a very slippery slope. I, I would actually like, I, I would take that off the table completely. I, I would look at um, things like, uh, if, you know, if the goal is things like, you know, building habits, building workout habits, um, you know, getting you to follow a program, getting you to follow, getting, 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 getting to, getting you to, um, that's a good way to put it, getting you to, to build certain tenets of a good fitness lifestyle. So, you know, things like 
watching your nutrition, things like, uh, like you know, having a mindfulness practice, having a gratu- you know, having a gratitude practice, and this, and this is something that I see like uh, in common with a lot of the challenges, like you know, like you know, Rise Forty Five or or the On at Six that I would really recommend because because then it's like you know we're, we're we're looking at kind of this like I said, how do we make this a lifestyle? How do we make lifestyle changes versus you know how do we just you know, instead of just just making drastic changes that are unsustainable just to get to the end of the challenge, right? I mean, for me. Coming out of Rise 45, one of my big KPIs was can I, you know, can, can I figure out how to make this content creation thing sustainable? And I feel like I have, you know, I mean, I, I mean, I've, you know, granted, this is only the third episode of this, but, you know, I did a bunch of, I mean, I, I did a bunch of episodes while I was in Rise 45. And I, you know, I kind of took what I learned from not being able to, to meet that, um, that content schedule and sort of transit it to what I'm doing now, where, you know, I do this one episode. Uh, every week and then I do kind of the clips from the episode like which you know which is something that I, I think a lot of people do so uh, you know I mean it seems like it's a pattern that works so why not you know why not why not just you know what do they say success leaves clues right I mean so so I think um sorry uh, I'm a little spacey like it, it's first first day back at the gym uh, I didn't go super hard but you know it's, it's it's definitely a different stimulus so um um, so yeah, so, so sorry, this idea of, you know, how do you, how do you take, how, how does, is, is the challenge aimed at helping you build a lifestyle? You know, is it going to like, is, is it going to give you steps to, you know, to continue? I mean, because, cause that's the thing, if the challenge is over when it's over, then you didn't really get anything out of it. And I think if the people who are setting the challenge up are, are really mindful of trying to create something something like useful that's actually useful then I think that'll be a consideration you know the consideration will be like you know what do you do afterwards and and it's funny because um, looking at some of the kind of the comments from people on the rise 45 group after um, you know after, after the challenge I mean there you see a lot of stories from people who are like yeah you know I, I did this thing over the challenge and now it's just part of my day you know uh, I mean, hydration is a great example. You know, one of the things that they had us do was was it was track hydration. And now there are people now that are like, yeah, I just I keep a you know I, I have a water bottle with me all the time now. And and you and and for some of you guys who are like fitness pros, you know, like you're like, well, duh, like okay, of course you do that. But but you gotta understand, like you know, everybody starts from different places. You know, not everybody. You know, you know, I mean, to some people it's not. You know, some people didn't do that up till now. I mean, same with like nutrition, you know, for some people who are like died in the old fitness, I was like, well, yeah, of course I track my, 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 my macros. Of course I, but a, a lot of people don't. I mean, you know, sometimes we get so, um, I, I mean, I don't, for lack of a better term, you know, we, we get so kind of in, in, you know, in that little echo chamber or, you know, we, we just assume that, you know, everything is, is kind of at the level we are and it's really not. So so I think that's, you know, and, and again, and, you know, just to kind of go back to kind of the point of this, I, I think that's kind of, again, another value of this is, that, you know, it, it can really help people level up to, you know, because there are, I think there are a lot of people now, especially in this kind of post, you, you know, I mean, you, you know, you know what's, what's been going on. I, I think there are a lot of people who are very cognizant of, of how important fitness is and how important health and wellness are. And they really, really want to make that change. But you know, it's not always as easy as just going to the gym and meeting with a trainer. It's not always as easy as, as, you know, just, just Googling, how do I get in shape? I mean, that's fact, that's probably the worst thing to do. So, um, so, so being able to, um, have, have that guidance and especially like I said, if it's something that's set up to help you move into a sustainable like lifestyle practice, I think is the hallmark of a good challenge. And that's, that's really something, you know, you, you got to have to look at if you're considering doing one. Um, I, again, I don't, I don't, I don't mean to come off as a shill, but I, I, I was really impressed with how they ran Rise 45. And I, I would recommend if, if you're looking for, you know, a, a good challenge, you know, join, join us for summer shred. I'm definitely going to be doing that challenge. Um, of course it'll be modified a little bit to sort of, you know, not, uh, not compete with jujitsu. So, I mean, I'll do similar to what I did with rise 45. I'll, I'll try and fit it in while still kind of keeping to the spirit of, but you know, if you're at a place where, you know, you want to just kind of work out, you want to just sort of just get onto something. Yeah. Jump in.